Um, yeah, hi. Is Misika there? This is Toma, Kamijo. Hmm, what was that? Kamijo, was it? Uh, no, my mistake. I must have the wrong room. Sorry to bother you. No, no, it's all right. Uh... I live here, too. I'm Sissy's roommate. Oh, are you really? Yes, I most certainly am. <laughs> Hang on. I've heard that voice somewhere before. Oh, it's nothing really that important. If it's not important, then why did you make the trip all the way down here? You know what? If she's not there, never mind. At this point, Sissy has not returned home. If you need to see her so badly that you showed up here, why don't you come in and wait? This is what the directory said. Room 208. Come in. Uh. It's all right. The door isn't locked. I'm sorry for disturbing you. As I suspected, the boy from before. Um, yeah, that's me. Have you two been engaging in extracurricular activities? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Hmm, that's good to hear. And you certainly don't look like you came here hoping for an amorous tryst with anybody. There's no telling how long you'll be waiting for her. You might as well have a seat over on the bed. Uh, no, thank you. I couldn't do that. Not without her permission. If that's what you're worried about, don't bother. That's my bed. Uh, then that one belongs to Misaka? What are you doing on somebody else's bed? Are you some kind of pervert? You're here at an all-girls dorm and you call me a pervert? Everyone has their own personal preferences. They may seem strange to other people, but that doesn't make them wrong or perverted. Come on, like you never secretly pressed your lips to your crush's picture? Or stole the seat from her bicycle to caress? No, I haven't! Ugh, you are crazy. Is this really what goes on behind the scenes at the all-girls dormitory? Uh, come to think of it, if you share a room, doesn't that make you classmates? The way you keep calling her sissy, it sounds more like a nickname for an upperclassman. You were right. She is older than I am, though that's not really why I call her sissy. I'm actually a full year behind her. Yet your roommates. I saw to it that her previous roommate was reassigned. Then I took her place here. It was simple enough to do. It was all totally legal, of course. <laughs> sissy has a lot of enemies around here, you know. It's the price she pays for being powerful. But I couldn't bear the idea of someone as close to her as a roommate betraying her, so I felt steps needed to be taken. I saw you with her yesterday. I believe you when you say you're not her boyfriend. So what then? Does she have some kind of quarrel with you? Huh? You wouldn't be the first person she didn't get along with. Someone with her kind of ability is bound to make enemies, though I would like it if she had a few more people to support her. Support her how? 